Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just threw my hair up in a messy bun and I'm ready to get started. First thing I'm doing is using the Lorac Eye Primer and just priming my lids, getting ready to put on my eyeshadow. Next, I'm just curling my eyelashes. Then I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to use this bottom shade. It is in the shade Subconscious is what it's called. And I'm just taking a large blending brush and I actually like this. It's a bronzing contour shade, but I like it to use as a transition color and it works really well for that. So I'm just putting that on both eyes with a blending brush. Then I'm taking the, the Lorac Mega Pro Palette and I'm taking the shade Brown with a um, crease brush, I guess, and just putting this in the crease and deepening that a little bit on both sides. Then I'm taking the blending brush again with no extra product and just going over those two colors and making sure there's no harsh lines and they're well blended. Then I'm taking the shade Opal from the same palette and I'm just taking a lid brush and I'm just put, placing this all over the lid, just kind of patting it on. Then I'm gonna take the shade Champagne from the same palette and just put this on top of Opal with the same lid brush. I just really like how these two colors blended together, kind of bronzy, champagne-y looking. So I just put those two on top of each other. Then I'm taking the blending brush again and just going over all three of those colors, making sure there's no harsh lines at all. Then for mascara, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and I'm just gonna do one coat on each eye to prep my eyelashes for false lashes. The lashes I'm using are my favorites. They're the Ardell Glamour Wispies. Then I'm going to prime my face. I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime and just priming my whole face with that product. Then for foundation, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match. I'm in the shade W3, I believe, and I'm using my um, Beauty Blender Damp, of course. Make sure that if you use a, a make sure that if you use a Beauty Blender, it is damp because it helps. Um, make the foundation more full coverage and just makes it easier to blend onto the face. Then for concealer, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm gonna put that in kind of a triangle um, shape under the eye on both sides and then I'm going to blend it out with the pointy part of my beauty blender. Then I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and use that to conceal and highlight the bridge of my nose, in between my eyebrows, underneath my bottom lip, and then my cupid's bow. And of course, just use the Damp Beauty Blender for that as well. Then I'm going to take the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette again and I'm going to use that middle shade, it's a banana shade, called Lyric and I'm going to use that to set my under eye concealer 
Um, and then the concealer that I use to highlight my nose and those um, other areas. This makes it easy and helps for your concealer not to crease at all. Then I'm going to take this Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and I'm just going to use a bronzing brush and bronze my cheeks. This look, I really wanted to do a very bronzy look so I'm going to make sure that I enhance that with this product um, on my cheeks and then I will use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette again and I'm going to be mixing two shades in that. I'm mixing the shades... Um, Let's see, subconscious and shadow play with a contour brush. And I'm going to contour the temples of my cheeks. And then with any extra product on there, I'm just going to kind of contour my nose a little bit. Then for eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Chocolate. Um, but before I do that, I like to use the Brow Wiz pencil in the shade Medium Brown. And I use that to kind of outline my brow, and then I'll take the pomade and fill it in with that. If you guys would like more of an in-depth um, tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, let me know, and I will gladly do that. Then I'm going to take my NARS blush in Orgasm. It's just a really pretty peachy, um, got, it has some hints of gold in it, so I thought it would look good with this bronzy look. And I'm just going to put that on my cheeks a little bit. Then this is my true love. It's the Laura Geller um, Illuminator in Gilded Honey, and it is gorgeous. I love it. It really enhances this bronzy look. And I mean, just look at that. Like I, oh my gosh, you'll see my reaction in just a minute, how I react to this product because it is just gorgeous. Look at that highlight. Freaking out a little bit. It's just so pretty. I love it. Then I'm gonna go back to the Lorac Mega Pro Palette and pick up the shade Brown again that we used in our crease, and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line and smoke that out a bit. Then I'm gonna take the shade Opal again that we used on our lid, I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye just to highlight that a bit. Then for bottom mascara, I'm going to use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and just coat my bottom lashes with that. Then for lips, I'm going to do kind of more of a nude for this look since it's pretty bronzy. This is a L'Oreal lipstick in Ferris Nude. Then I'm going to take this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu and just put that over the top of the lipstick. And that is the finished look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And let me know what kind of looks you'd like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.